Welcome back guys, it's Cameron and today I'm gonna show you how to play the game called Age of History 2 so this time I'm gonna show you how to play as Macedonia so I will restore the Macedonian Empire so for this I will need to develop the country economically and also politically and militarily as well so like we see here we got a Macedonia and first we gotta choose what type of area we have to improve so first of all always go for the military upkeep so I'm going like I'm gonna give my full power here and I'll get like 19 points left where I have to invest in the other areas as well so therefore I will mostly focus on the population growth so I will have more soldiers and the economic growth is also important, but I wouldn't miss like the half-half, like three here for research, so I can have more technology points, and also uh, one economic growth, and also administration in case I want to improve, you know, the infrastructure. And this is our money, so the taxes will increase, but make sure that it doesn't reach like to decre decreasing of happiness. So we're gonna make sure that it's gonna be like still at an optimal level like this and then we'll decrease a little bit like the goods because you know the goods are for increasing the population as well and yeah and now we see we also have the military expense as well so what we gotta do we gotta go here and then we gotta disband the army so that we'll have more money for our infrastructure so I've got like this way I chose because I will be able to conquer more lands. I'll try my best so that you know I can restore the Macedonian Empire. And first, we gotta concentrate on ourselves. We don't wanna invade anywhere right now. We gotta keep our relations with our neighbors better so that there wouldn't be any possible you know attacks on our borders. So we we'll use the diplomatic skills. We we'll go to Bulgaria. We're gonna improve the relations. It's like in an optimal level. Plus three it means it's optimal right now. Greece will improve as well. Albania, it's not that good, so that's why I have to improve the relations. Kosovo, we have to improve it. Montenegro, and of course Serbia. So now we are safe, depending on the circumstances. Now the next turn. We see here in diplomacy no one yeah we're going better after some time we'll see that diplomacy points like relations are gonna increase so that means that we're safe so far now I collected some money which means one two three four we got like uh, four districts here the first one is the capital and therefore Therefore, we go to the capital, press on more, but first we gotta see what we have to build here. So you see that we got required technology to build a supply camp, farm, and the workshop, library, and etc. But we don't have enough technology to build the second level fortress. Therefore, we have to invest also more money for our research. So what I'm thinking is that we have to first increase the happiness. So that we can have more uh, capital here it, that will increase our output and our economy as well so the average uh, when you press on Macedonian uh, banner you will see I'm sorry here down below you will see the average happiness level the percentage it's like 75 percent that means that it's not high enough if we reach it up to 100 percent that means that our economy is going to get better as well because that will be more productive so we just here go like here to happiness yeah and yeah organizing festival organize festival organize festival as well so one two three four some countries just um sent an insult to us like albania doesn't matter in case this happens, it may not always 
like be as smooth as you expect that to be. So therefore you have to, in case some neighboring countries or other powerful countries decide to send an insult to your address, you have to go here and sign a non-aggression pact until your relations are getting better so that you can restart your diplomatic relations again by improving it. So let's get back to happiness. So you can see that our happiness is increasing. Now Albania agree with that. So it's like shown yellow in this map as an indicator of uh, non-aggression pact. So now again, it just reached up to one second. So yeah. So now we got 95% of happiness. So we have to do it like uh, again till it reaches 100%. So here we go. So now we have to um, improve the relations with Serbia again. So now go to happiness. Perfect. Now we reach the full um, happiness here. So what we gotta do, we see that we have increased capital here. Now I'm what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna invest in all money for the research. Exactly. And now I'm gonna go next. Now we have to improve it again. Sometimes it happens that, you know, the diplomats and the relationships earlier than expected date. So that's why we have to constantly um, pay attention to that as well. Okay, so we have to move ahead. Let's look at that. So here at the top right of the screen, you will see the percentage which shows indicates um, the research level. It's not like the half of it is done. And after the half, like 100%, you'll get some points of technology. So let's go back here again. So we have to improve relations with Serbia, but we don't have enough diplomatic skills. So we're going to do it in the next move. So improving here. <clears throat> so again here improving now we got the points one point we have to put for add it up for the population so let's go again here so now we got like Montenegro ended relations we're gonna restart that again we're gonna continue with Greece and Bulgaria let's do it on the next uh, move improve it I'm sorry yeah okay so let's wait okay again we have to improve it so to make sure that we just um, increased it so that we can have possible allies but first we gotta work on ourselves so okay so we're about we have to improve our relations with Albania so it is possible that Albania can attack us so we have to make sure that Albania doesn't do that it seems like Albania is reluctant with having any type of relations with us so that's why we have to constantly do that and I will see the money is running now so we have to decrease the points of the research like our investment there so what we gotta do we gotta do like this a little bit not until the end but like zero because we need some capital here okay improving relations so just in case we're gonna go and uh, for non-aggression pack some countries are like this some okay okay non-aggression pack just for now okay now we got it we got our relations with neighbors uh, improved now we got like better relations with them uh, despite of all of this I managed to you know neutralize the Albanian threat because before the countries attack you they tend to you know insult you more and more so that they can attack you later on so we're not gonna allow that happen so that's why I have to you see it means that Albania is becoming a threat so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to Greece first. Yeah. Trade, declare war on Albania. 
so that we'll neutralize the threat before it, before it happens. So now let's improve our relations with our neighbors. Improve the neighbor relation with Greece as well. Okay, so let's wait how it turns out to be. So. so now we have a new ally who want to join us. So we're going to accept that. Now we're allies right now. So let's just keep moving. Now Greece want to now we want to increase our friendship with Greece as well because it's becoming more powerful. Now we're going to improve our relations with Montenegro as much as we can. Okay, so we'll see the outcomes. Okay. So <clears throat> So we're gonna see if we can be allies with Greece. So far so good. We can now have our relations. Now we're an ally with Montenegro. Let's see if we can do the same with Bulgaria, but we can improve it. Improve. Improve. Let's see, now it's already done here. Okay, so. So far, so good. Now we're doing better. We eliminated Albanian threats. So that was a possible outcome that he it was going to attack us. So. Now we can build something up here. So we go to capital. We can see we have enough technology for that. We'll build a uh, fortress. Farm. Workshop. Library. Next turn, we're going to build some farm, armory, supply camp. So this one farm. Okay, now we got to improve our technology for that. So that's why we have to wait. So... Okay, so let's do this. To make this, if you want to make this easier, we gotta go here, take the loan. To do it as fast as you can. Take all the money here. I think you can do that more than five times. So, let's see. Watchtower. Farm, workshop. Okay. Now let's wait. Here. Okay. So let's improve our relations with Bulgaria. Let's see if we can become allies. Improving with Greece. No. No sign of allies yet. So, improving, improving with Serbia as well. Okay, so, so far so good. So, in case your relations are getting better with the neighboring countries, when your relations or as well as the other countries, in case you are in a good relations with them, you can see their status, you can see the amount of their manpower, army, how many soldiers they have in each province. But you can't do the same, for example, with Italy, because we're not in a, the best relations with that. So see, in comparison with Greece and Italy, we can see a huge difference, like uh, plus 4 and plus 55. So we also got to act diplomatically, you know, in case we want to save ourselves. Also, we're going to improve our relationship with Turkey, in case of possible attack from the Eastern Front. And also Romania, because it's one of the strongest in the game, so that's why we have to... Uh, keep ourselves in a distance. 
so right now I don't think we're ready enough because most of the players they just you know um, directly attack you know take the lands without you know any uh, preparation so do we have to you know build many things here buildings towers so that we can you know restore our positions so we can have enough resources for the future attacks but we use most of the time the diplomatic skills this time so let's increase the money okay so improving relations again improving relations okay then if one country is reluctant so we have to non-aggression pact okay okay we're gonna give it for research so we can have now don't forget to save it your progress so okay not bad so we're doing good we're doing fine now we're gonna go and continue with re uh, reconstruction okay we're gonna build the supply camp first okay improve relations with Serbia Bulgaria Greece Montenegro okay oh, okay we have this option here form Yugoslavia so that we can own all the provinces here so we can you know form a powerful union which existed before but anyway we're gonna build a Macedonian Empire this time So, okay, now we're going to build the university here, improve relations with Romania, okay. So our um, non-aggression pact with Turkey has expired, so we have to go here and renew it again. Okay, so we've done it. Now let's look at diplomacy points. Now we got, we're doing better with Greece. We're going to offer some alliance, but um, it's not ready for that. Since I just got ally with Montenegro and Kosovo, they decrease the chance our alliance with the other countries just decreased um, because of some reason. So I offer alliance not so optimal for Serbia right now. So okay, let's look at that. So we got all improved except for the ones which require high technology, but so far so good. And we're gonna increase our capital as well. Okay, let's see what we can do about it. Okay, so... Now... improve the relations
you improve the relations. Okay, our relations with Bulgaria has been suspended. We gotta now go for an aggression pact. Okay. Now we gotta go with Turkey so we can make sure that we can have it. Okay, so. So the strategy is that we're building all the buildings here. We go here. Now we go for the research right now. So we can increase our technology level so we can build more, you know, fortresses, libraries, and so on, etc. So. Okay, so the relations is time for improvement. So. Yeah, we got two points. We're gonna add it up on uh, the population growth. We're gonna increase our population. It's time for Greece. It's time for non aggression pacts. It's time for Serbia, Montenegro. Uh, I don't know about Bosnia, but I mean. We're about Bosnia, like, should we do that? But in any case, it's almost a neighboring country. Also, with our allies, don't forget to do that. Okay, still, we're doing better. So now we got a point again. We're not joining war. We're not joining war so far. So far, so good. We are gonna wait. We're not gonna hurry up. Now non aggression pact with Turkey expired again. Now we'll try to make the relations better with it as well. Now Israel tends to declare war enough war on us because we got like minus fifty say uh, fifty six points in relation with Israel. What we're gonna do we're gonna call on Egypt trade declare war on Israel so we can neutralize the threat if the country tends to give you more and more insults so that means that you got to do something about it now you see it's just here now we're gonna trade with Jordan that you attack on Israel Now Israel is on its own. So, increasing our points again. Don't forget to save. So, now we're going to increase, increase. Okay. Now decreasing research, so we need more money for that. Okay. So now we got the technology to build some other stuff as well. Now we gotta need money for that. So now after we increase the relations better with other countries. Okay. So let's save it here. So everyone, that was the first video of Age of History. So the first episode, we managed to build some buildings and many districts except for that one, which we're going to do in our next episodes. Hope you liked the video, that was helpful for you and also something new for your strategy. Um, don't forget to subscribe, share, or like. Uh, I wish you all the best and have a nice one.